The provisional cast on is a way of casting on stitches into a piece of scrap yarn, or my favorite way of doing it is into a crochet chain, so that you can knit and knit and work whatever you're working. Later, go back to that crochet chain, take it out, and you will have live stitches there that will allow you to work the other direction. It's kind of a weird thing, but you'll see it a lot, especially in toe-up socks. That's where I usually see it the most, is toe-up socks. Let me show you how it goes. I'm going to start with a crochet hook and some smooth yarn, make a slip knot, and I'm going to chain a few more stitches than I need for my cast on. Okay, I, I chained 15. I only need, we're going to pretend that I need 10 cast on. So I broke the yarn and I pulled that through. And just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to go back to the slip knot end and tie a little knot in that tail. I'll show you why that's important later. If you look at the crochet chain, it looks like a bind off row. It's a bunch of V's like this. We're actually going to be working from the other side of the crochet chain, which looks like a bunch of hyphens. So now you need a knitting needle and your working yarn. Get that ready. I'm going to skip the first one. Well, let's go back to why I tied the knot in the, the end with the slip knot. This is the end where we want to start, the slip knot end. I'm going to put my needle into the first, skipping the first one, the second hyphen, grab my working yarn, attach it and pull it through that hyphen, picking up stitches in the back of this crochet chain. I go into the second one, wrap it and pull it through. You want to do this for as many stitches as you have to cast on. You get the idea. Now that crochet chain is just going to hang there and you're going to work these loops for you know, whatever your pattern tells you to do. I'm just showing you the basic technique of the provisional cast on. And then when it's time, when your pattern tells you to go ahead and pull out the provisional cast on, you're going to go to the non-slip knot side of the chain. We tied a little knot in the slip knot end. Ignore that one. We're going to the non-slip knot side and we're going to pull that end through so that we can unzip the crochet chain. And I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it for you here because you actually have to have some stuff on the work for it, um, some stuff on the needle for it to work. But when you unzip this all the way across, you'll have live stitches that will allow you to work the other direction. Like I said, that's the basic technique and this happens to be my favorite way of working the provisional cast on. There are other ways. This, I think this is the easiest and the sturdiest way of doing it. But just the basic technique, which is the same for across a lot of patterns. <laughs>